choke on this. All right, so what advice would you have for young dudes or anybody that wants to be like, I'm going to make it in the industry? I'm Just know, know what um, you're getting into. Know what you're shooting towards. Mm -hmm. You know, I meet a lot of kids, you know, that started maybe five, six years ago and they get in it, man, and then they call me and they find success from it. Then they call me, it's like, night this ain't what I thought this was, bro. Wow. And then it's like, you know, it's a price that comes with fame. It's a wow. price that comes with, you know, a lot of money. And so it's a, it's a definite price. And then sometimes America sells us this dream, but it sells us this thing about being famous make a lot of money and i mean you do what you want to do with your life but understand there's a certain price and things that comes with it and you have to get a point in your career what do you choose do you choose fame or freedom and and a lot of a lot of kids choose fame and they will forgo their freedom for it and that's um and that's freedom to create freedom to control their own contracts freedom to control their own money some of these kids end up in situations where they're owned by eight different people they don't even know about seven different people and and you know hip hop in the hip hop we need to start preaching the more entrepreneurial aspect of it to be able to control your own destiny to be able to control your own thing to, to, for somebody not just come in and take everything you got 60 70 percent of what you're earning and just build your own empire right um and that's what with this whole you know kind of macklemore thing that's was you know i get mad at everybody trying to down him because make no mistake he owns everything that he does you know what i mean he's an independent artist whether you like his music or not mm -hmm. he is an independent artist it's backed by nobody. and it's not backed by anybody who does not want to do that you right. know what i mean and he's an independent artist you know everybody gets on a little thrift shop song or whatever but nobody's talking about a song he did before that about kids getting killed over Jordan. Nope. like nobody's talking about that song but nobody's talking about some of the community work he's done in seattle before he even got to thrift shop, you know what I mean? Right. Everybody wants to, oh, he won on the Kendrick. Well, you know, he said himself Kendrick was a, uh, uh, had a better album. But we all know how the Grammys is set up, but you can't knock him. And I think he's one of the examples. He's an example of being independent and making it and doing it yourself. Another uh, person is, in the, you know, uh, an example is somebody right from here, it's Mac Miller. Like, doing it yourself and making a strive to make sure you control a, a, a majority of your destiny right. is important. And, and and we need to start preaching that instead of selling these kids, get a deal exactly. and, you know, go for the dream and have them end up, you know, you're not even on your own stuff. What, what are what are some different careers that people can have that aren't on the camera? I mean, so many of camera work, you know what I mean? Like there's so many, there's so many um self, self, employed videographers because i mean once a rapper goes independent that's going to also create independent jobs for everybody else you know this rapper is going to need a videographer he's going right. to need a website he's going to need a manager he's going to need a tour manager and next thing you know you have your own company itself you know if you look around if you're a rapper you have a street team dude the internet street team dude a cameraman a tour a tour manager and a, and a manager and an engineer and a producer you have a full-fledged running label you know, from that. And so those are the things that, you know, that you can do. And most of the the jammers of the world, the most dopes, the raucous records, the MMGs, the 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 cash monies, the no limits, the Rockefellers, all started with two or three people. Wow. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like you said, we're gonna do this, we're gonna flood the streets or whatever. And of course it grew over time, but it also it started with two or three people in the room saying, We're gonna name this no limits. And we're gonna do this ourselves. That's where it starts from. So it's so many jobs that you can have if you just give some friends and start an idea and stick with the idea. Stick with that. Right.